maybe come to the low one first and then come on come on you got this come on come on right come on come on right come on right come on you're in it yes come on come on this crimp up and right's good come on We were in Costa Rica to bolt this small crag next to my friend Briggs condo. Clear below. While we were there, my friend Rye kept sending me pictures of this river spot with some deep water soloing about an hour and a half from where we were staying. It looked really unique with this beautiful flowing river at the bottom and these water carved walls on each side of the river. Rai and his two friends from San Jose brought Evan and I to the Rio Colorado super early one morning it's early. <laughs> to check out the deep water soloing. And we get there, we park the car, we walk the couple hundred yards down to the top of the crag and we look across the river at the deep water solo lines and the one that he had in mind, like the kind of king line of the area was just so beautiful. It was one of the most unique rock climbs I could imagine existing in Costa Rica. The climbing goes through several different bulges and into different recesses on the wall. It's this like kind of discontinuous crack offset system that snakes up the whole entire wall. And it's just like a beautiful obvious line in the middle of this otherwise blank wall. I definitely could have done the the right variation, which is the one that I had worked out a little bit of beta for, but at the last minute I changed my beta and I threw for the top of the wall, which is probably at like 50 feet or something, and I went to the wrong hold. I fell from the top of the wall. <laughs> and I was like instantly frustrated with myself. I was like, ah! changed my beta, I didn't grab the right hold, I took this huge fall, now we have to leave. Rai tried the left variation of the deep water solo. On, it's kind on, of like the, on, probably the harder variation. Come on, Rye. Come on, this crimp up and right's good. Come on. And he fell once yeah. from pretty high. Nice and, easy. and then yeah. on his second try he he made the first ascent yeah, of the good. of the left variation, which was really cool to see. I was hanging yes, on a rope on. right next to him, filming Take him with time. my phone. Yes, you got it this time. Stand up tall. Yes, Rai, come on. Come on. Come on, Ray. Yeah, 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 little one, right on the edge. Yes, 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 come on. Up and left, straight up above you is a good hold. Yes, dude. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> They're actually really good. Mm -hmm. 
hitting the gym. This place. I know. shoes <laughs> very distracted right now i love oh this. my god there's there's cactus cactus shoe garden this is so cool we're here to um to grab a stand-up paddle board from a friend of a friend and then take it to the river and go deep water soloing. But this is the gym, this is Altitude Liberia. This climbing gym and, uh, is like, like, it's a, got yeah. old plywood walls and it's kind of like in an open air space with this shelter over it. And the whole thing is very grassroots, but it has a ton of character. Hey guys! Hey. Welcome to Costa Rica, Nazi to Liberia gym. Nice to meet you. Amica. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Yeah. Nice hey bro. Mucho gusto. Hi guys! Cool place you got. This, oh, thank you. This gym is epic. He said it runs on donations? Yeah. A few uh, holds are buy it. Every, everyone is like Chile, Mexico, United States, France, yes. Oh, yeah. Wow. We do the volumes here for a uh, friend from Mexico. Yeah, I can see they're like homemade. They yeah. Look, they yeah. look nice though. Yeah. It's good. really, you see the, the coconuts hold? Oh. Coconut holds? Yeah. <laughs> it's really, it's really yeah. coconut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're really coconut. And we have a bamboo, wow. a bamboo set too. <laughs> Is it open to the public, like, yeah. normally? Yeah, yeah. How did it? Yeah, it's the thing. Nice! Good job! Yeah. <laughs> Hold those yeah. coconuts! Yes, classic! You have another one in the top. Nice! So cool! Is that you, Bob? Coconut! Yeah, no, no. So, so first we go to... After we warmed up at the climbing gym, we all piled into our cars and we drove the 10 minutes to, from the gym to the real Colorado. <laughs> Want some cheese? Oh, sure. <laughs> Gouda. Gotta, gotta feed the race horse. <laughs> yeah. So this is our second time to check out some deep water soloing in Liberia. I'm hoping for redemption today. We got to the real Colorado and the route that we wanted to do that I'd fallen off the top of a few days earlier was in the sun. So we wanted to we wanted to give it a chance to get shade and for the rock to cool down a little Gracias. bit. Yes, from my house. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Whoa. Gracias. Thank you. That's so good. Wow. And we wanted to explore some of the other potential lines, like in that part of the canyon. Evan tells me, oh, I'm gonna go rappel down this really cool looking boulder problem that I had seen last time we were here. And I don't, I didn't remember seeing any boulder problems, but I went down to check out what Evan was doing and he had wrapped down this amazing looking boulder problem Super with this fun. tiered landing. This hiding in the jungle. In plain sight. In plain sight, next right? To, by the, the beach. He said, you know, he probably thought it was in the V5 to 7 range. All the holds looked really bomber. The features, like the line was just really obvious. It connected these amazing holds and features through this like scooped overhang. I was like, wow, this, this thing looks like, this is a five star boulder problem right next to the river here. So I wrapped down it and I did the moves. Decided that it was easy enough that I was like, Pretty sure I wasn't gonna fall, so decided to boulder the thing just without pads or anything. the most chill part it's just that little transition to get your feet like to 
Yeah, release the toe. I probably didn't need to do that toe hook, but it, was it, cool. felt, it felt cool. <laughs> After I sent the boulder problem, the deep water solo that we had gone there to climb was finally in the shade and the rock was cooling down. So I decided to wrap down it one more time and just make sure that my beta was, was locked tight. As I'm pulling up the rope, I hear Amanda, Evan's wife, shout, Evan, in a way that told everyone who heard that she was in trouble. Yeah. Amanda ended up going down the rapids backwards in the kayak and in the rapids she flipped upside down. Fortunately she didn't hit her head because she wasn't wearing a helmet or anything but she hit her shoulder and she had gotten stuck upside down in the rapids in the kayak. And I was underwater in the kayak. Oh my god. I know and then I, I was like yeah. hoping that I don't die but she had managed to free herself. She swam out of the kayak and into the, into the river. Everyone jumped into action. Our, our guide for the day, Al Mikar, he got to her first and he was able to escort her safely out of the river. Oh. Hey, you're class, first class four waterfall. Oh, <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh my God. So scary. It was super scary. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you bang, you bang your knee. And my shoulder. Oh my god, no, dude. Yeah. That shoulder. Oh, dude, no. she was on this rock. That's the second person to get trapped in the rapids. So today. after Amanda was yeah, was rescued, there was still some daylight left. There was enough daylight to give the deep water solo a try or two. In the interest of dramatic content, I think you should just go for it. <laughs> I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll seize the moment. Everyone's okay. I'll still give it a try. I, I stuffed over to the base of the deep water solo. Got on the wall, totally dry, and was able to climb the thing like pretty easily without, without, much, without much stress. And I would say like, you know, the the overall difficulty of the climbing is probably in the 512 minus range, but I think because it's so high, the nature of the climbing is quite technical. There are several weird, funky cruxes. You know, it, the 512 minus difficulty grade doesn't really encompass like the experience level required to just do the climb. The last like 10 feet of the climb is the hardest part. The holds start to get smaller and you, you get out onto the face away from the jugs and you're on pretty small holds with a really, really high right foot and you just have to like own this crimp side pull, stand up really far to a, like a sloping Very good. jug. Come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> so smooth. Sick. Nice! <laughs> so in conclusion, there is good climbing in Costa Rica. Yeah, I mean it's really hard to find, but it's here. And like, I think the locals are getting on it, finding more. So, like this thing is legit classic. I mean, I would drive hours for this one climb. We did drive hours for this climb. So Sick. worth it.
Let's measure it. I'm gonna measure this for real. This is exactly the interview shot I envisioned. Cool. Yeah. 